the national response? And if you were advising the president, what would you tell him to do? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what we're really seeing right now is the limitations of uh, a federalist system, right? And um, disasters inherently are states issues. So, you know, the, the, the concept that FEMA is this, um, this silver bullet that can come in and solve these problems. It's kind of a, it's, 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 it's the wrong perspective to have, you know, states, the, the way the system is designed is that states um, are responsible for their citizens. They typically engage in mutual aid agreements with neighboring states uh, so they can have cross-border support when that makes sense. And FEMA really only steps in, in extreme circumstances, uh, in a, within a very narrow scope, they're, they are there to move money and in some cases provide advisory services. FEMA was never designed, uh, nor is it staffed and resourced to be able to provide you know, what is necessary today. And, and frankly, like you, you can't really design a system to handle what's happening today. I mean, right. you, know how, you know how floods are, they're categorized as like thousand year events or 500 year events. You can't really design uh, a system to fully withstand what would be a thousand year flood. It's, it's impractical. You can take steps against it, but you know, the, 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 the flood insurance program that FEMA operates, it only operates against a 100 year flood scenario, right? This pandemic is a, you know, I don't know, I guess you can look at the Spanish flu in 1918 and say, well, that was 100 years ago. So maybe right. it's a 100 year event, but it, it's really hard to say. And, and I don't know that you design a system for this. That being said, what's needed? We need to, you know, the, the call to federalize the acquisition process early was a major miss by the federal government to, to not implement. I mean, the fact that we have states today competing against one another and competing against their own federal government on bids for critical life-saving equipment is just, I mean, it's, it's absurd on its face. And, and there were, there were, you know, steps that they could take to immediately, you know, uh, put it, put an end to that. And the result is not only are we paying more for supplies than we should be, but th there are delays in that process and it's creating, you know, this element of uh, us versus them when we right. should all be on one team, right? Yeah. We're, we're artificially creating this division in this competition when, you know, we shouldn't be.